Hey everyone, in this 4 minute video for developers, we're going to see how to extract multi-valued params using extract variable policy. Let's say uh, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and the backend system. Whenever a request comes to Apigee Edge, uh, which contains multi-valued parameters, for example, a query parameter that has the same name but different values. Let's say you want to extract uh, the second value of a multi-valued param and do some validation or change the API behavior based on that particular value. You can able to do that using extract variable policy. As you can see here, I'm logged in into Apigee Edge as an org administrator. Click on API proxies and then click on plus proxy button on top uh, right hand side. Choose reverse proxy and then click on next. I'm going to name my proxy as extract variables multi-value demo and give existing API as http colon slash slash http bin.org slash get. Choose next and choose authorization as pass through. Choose defaults, build and deploy. Once proxy is deployed, click on the API proxy link to access the Apigee API proxy or your screen that you have just created. This is the proxy endpoint using which you can able to make an API call to the backend system. Uh, to demo the multi-value params extraction, we're going to use extract variable policy. Before that, let me show you, for example, this particular API takes a city uh, as a multi-valued param. For example, city is equal to Seattle and city is equal to Mumbai. Let's see how to extract this uh, Seattle and Mumbai in Apigee Edge using extract variable policy. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach an extract variable policy to the proxy endpoints preflow. Click on preflow, click on plus step. Click on extract variable policy. I'm going to name my policy as ev extract variable multi values city and then click on add. Since we would like to extract the information from query params, I'm going to remove everything except uh, source and then query parameters. So I'm going to uh, name my uh, variable prefix as uh, uh, city q params query params and we need to extract uh, the query param name called city so I'm going to name it as query param name city dot uh, zero to extract the first one first, uh, first value of the multi value and let's give a pattern to extract uh, that particular thing so I'm going to give a new pattern pattern ignore is, is equal to true and then close the XML. So we're going to extract that particular thing into first city variable called first city. So the first city uh, will be extracted into city query params dot first city. Similarly, uh, let's extract the second one. Using city dot two and update uh, the extracted uh, variable as second city. What we're gonna do is we're gonna print these extracted variables using JavaScript policy and uh, you can use it uh, the extracted variables in any other policy too. So I'm gonna add uh, quickly a simple JavaScript policy that just prints this extracted variables to the console for us uh, to verify. So I'm gonna say it as uh, print uh, context dot uh, get variable and then city query parameters dot first city and similarly let's print the second one second city save the api proxy and let's see it in action we're going to use trace uh, and uh, see the extracted values in the output so click on start uh, trace session so we're going to use the api proxy that we created so and we're going to make a call city is equal to seattle and city is equal to sydney so let's make an api call as you can see the extract variable policy got executed and we have extracted the information into city query parameters and we are printing those variables using javascript policy as you can see seattle and sydney has printed out to the debug uh, log in the trace console Thank you for watching this video and share this video with your colleagues and subscribe to YouTube channel.